When people come into my office, they tend to express a lot of the same concerns. Underlying all of it is that they want to make life easier for their children, for their spouse, their family, for whoever they're leaving behind. They want their legacy to be that they navigated all of the concerns and made life a little bit easier. That might mean preserving their money, uh, even if they get sick in their later years and not having it all consumed by long-term care costs. But another concern has to do with taxes. I'm Patrick Cawley with Keystone Elder Law in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, and there are at least five ways to lessen the amount of taxes that get taken out of your estate when you're gone, leaving more for your family. We're talking about Pennsylvania's inheritance tax here. Most middle-class families do not have any concerns about federal estate tax. You have to be leaving millions of dollars before the federal government takes a chunk out of your estate. So let's talk about the five ways that you might lessen the amount of taxes that come out of your estate uh, in terms of Pennsylvania inheritance taxes. The first one is to be mindful of who you're leaving money to. The inheritance tax is based on the relationship of the beneficiary, the recipient of your money to you. So if you're leaving money to, say, your children, the, the tax rate is 4.5%. It's not bad. But as soon as you leave money to your siblings, it jumps up to 12%. Anybody else, friends, uh, nieces, nephews, and so forth, it goes up to the highest rate, 15% of your estate coming out and going to the government of Pennsylvania. So obviously the law favors keeping money in your direct lineal uh, family line, your, your descendants. Number two is to put real estate and maybe money into a certain kind of trust. We primarily do this to, to lock down and preserve your hard-earned savings, your property, and protect them against long-term care costs. A lot of people come in here for trust planning for that purpose, to make sure that nothing will get consumed in long-term care costs, uh, Medicaid will pay for care, and the government won't come after those assets. But there's an added benefit to doing these trusts, and that's that if you put, say, a $200,000 house into a trust and at least one year goes by, uh, whoever you want to receive that house when you're gone will get it free of inheritance tax, completely free. So on a $200,000 house, if it's your children, 4.5% tax rate, that's $9,000 that, that you've avoided just by having the house in a trust. Number three would be to make gifts during your life. Pennsylvania does not have a gift tax, meaning a chunk of money coming out of a transfer of wealth made while you are alive. We only have this inheritance tax, so a transfer of wealth when you're gone. So you could make gifts during your lifetime, and then it's not part of your estate as long as that same one-year rule is satisfied. It has to be a gift made at least a year or more before your death. So making a gift during your life does have some downsides, just as putting anything into a trust has a downside, and that has to do with Medicaid paying for your long-term care. You want to be careful about this and speak to a professional about gifting because uh, gifting gets penalized by Medicaid. But the tax answer, which is what we're talking about today, is that gifts during your lifetime can uh, completely avoid uh, an inheritance tax when you're gone. Uh, another one that you can do is make somebody the joint owner of your real estate or a bank account. So you, if you, if you add an owner, you've essentially given them a 50% interest. So this is not an outright gift, but you've given them a half interest. What that does is it avoids probate and all of the cost and, and waiting that goes with probate. Uh, they automatically become the owner of that of the rest of the property, 100% ownership once you're gone without it having to go through probate. And they have to pay inheritance tax, but it's only on the half that you kept in your control. So they're inheriting your half. Um, and that, in, in effect, lessens the inheritance tax. It cuts it right in half. Finally, I would say deductions during your estate administration are going to be crucial. So if you have an experienced probate attorney, and this is something we do at Keystone Elder Law, 
the, the attorney will know to look for tax deductions, such as the cost of your last, ex, your last medical expenses, your burial costs, things like that. We might be looking for deductions from the inheritance tax because that those bills are taking away from the inheritance of the people you want to receive your money, so you ought to be paying less in taxes too. If I added one more bonus, a uh, way to avoid inheritance taxes. It's to have money go to your beneficiaries through life insurance, which is not taxed in Pennsylvania. So that that's another way to completely uh, stay free of inheritance tax. I hope that this sparks some ideas about planning that you might want to do for the later years of life. Find more information at keystoneelderlaw.com. You can search YouTube for Keystone Elder Law. Obviously, you might be seeing this video on YouTube. We have lots of resources, lots of articles and so forth, and we'd be happy to answer some of your questions if you got in touch with us.